So before we get started, I just wanted to let you guys know that this will be a voiceover recording because my microphone got messed up when I made the original video. And if there's any delays in the audio, that's me just recording the voiceover and messing up. So yeah, I also wanted to show you this uh, beacons.ai page for print start 3D. And it's a quick way to get all my links. There's my email here. You can also stay up to date when I release new files. There's an about me page. And there's a My 3D Printers page, which shows you which 3D printers I use. There's also a YouTube uh, link here for my Iron Man helmet assembly. And that's about it. So let's get on with the video. So today I'm going to show you how to make a filament dry box. And what you're going to need first is something similar to this here. It's like a five pound flour container from Rubbermaid. You can really use any uh, plastic container with a lid on it. Um, just find a cheap one you don't really need an expensive one it just needs to be something real simple that'll have a seal on it and yeah so that's for that and then you're gonna need these silica dry beads I got these off Amazon and they're reusable if you put them back in the oven and oven and dry them out uh, they're pretty cheap and you can get a lot of them and same for these these are little couplers you can get them for cheap on Amazon too you don't really need to buy super super high quality ones just something simple to fit your Bowden tube you're gonna need this roller here. I 3D printed this. I'll put the file down in the description. And it's fast print, it's really easy to print. So yes, I'll put that in the description. Then you're gonna need this drill here with a drill bit. And it's gonna be about just smaller or the same size as the actual coupler threads themselves. So you're gonna get your dry box here and you're gonna drill a hole in it with the drill bit you've selected. And you're gonna drill it kind of up here because that's where the filament's gonna feed into. And you'll see this later how it feeds up. You don't wanna put it too low because then you won't be able to, your filament will be at an angle. And you can see that I also broke the plastic here. It's not a big deal if this happens. If it cracks completely down the side, then yeah, it's a pretty big deal. But after that, you're gonna get your coupler threaded in by hand. Pretty simple process. Make sure it just goes in straight. And then get your wrench, and then just kinda of wrench it down. Don't over tighten this because you will uh, start chewing up the plastic and it'll get looser and looser and then it'll eventually fall out. But then you're gonna get your Bowden tube and then you're gonna put it in this hole here and it should just go right in. Then you can take off any kind of labeling or whatever. That's what I do right here. Pretty simple. And then once you have the coupler and the Bowden tube, you can start putting your dry beads in here. You can either get the little tiny packets of the silica or you can uh, just pour it in directly, which I did there. You can also 3D print a tiny little container yourself if you want to do DIY uh, but it's not really worth it I'd rather just get the packets but now you're just gonna put the roller you 3d printed into the roll of filament and then you're gonna kind of stretch the sides of your box to put it in there and you're gonna see if it works give it a good test spin and then you're gonna put the filament into the Bowden tube and you're gonna feed it all the way through And then there we go, That it rolls good. And then we're gonna just put the lid back on. It's gonna be a little stretched out from the roller. You can also scale the roller to be a more accurate size for your needs. So yeah, you're just gonna squeeze the sides, put the lid on, and there you go. You got your dry box, and it should roll pretty good when once the filament is feeding through. And yeah, there you go, it's all done. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful in some way. And if you actually end up making one of these, I would love to see it. And so at me on Instagram, if you make one of these, um, and I'll share it. Uh, also, if you want to support me more directly, I do have a PayPal link here for my materials for all my projects. And also there's a link here for my favorite uh, filament here, Duramec 3D. 
Their PLA Plus is really good. It's like 20 bucks for a roll. And they got uh, good colors too. And yeah, you can also make your own beacons page like this using my link for free. I don't pay for any of this here. Uh, it's pretty nice. I like it. Um, there's also the print start homepage here. And don't be afraid to join the forums. It's pretty dead over there, but you know, you gotta start somewhere. So if you wanna uh, head over to the forums and share some files, uh, some tutorials, some knowledge about 3D printers, then that is the place to do it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please have a nice day and yeah, I'll see you next time.